video, I'm talking about something that's inspired in a replica piece. Um, but first of all, um, I just want to say hi. And if you haven't been to my channel before, I like to do a lot of reviews about inspired, dupes, or replica, or even real purses. Um, I just love them all. Um, so this one is actually from Amazon. It's uh, from Daisy Rose, is the brand. And if you look at it, um, it reminds everybody of a Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Um, probably in the MM size. The GM one is quite a bit larger. Um, what's really great about this, I actually found them on one of the forums or something that I follow. And it was really cool to see that, hey, Amazon has a prime version of a bag that for people who like the look of it with the checkered pieces, um, but don't necessarily want the logo on it. So this was kind of a really nice way. Also, it's prime, so two-day shipping is always my favorite. Um, but yeah, so first things first, it's really hard to get this bag. Um, they sell out all the time, um, and it's crazy. Um, they come in three different colors. They have uh, the brown, then they have a black and gray now that just came out, and then they have a cream, which is very similar to the uh, Louis Vuitton Demi uh, Azure version. Um, so it's just like the Demir Abin. I'm probably saying that wrong, uh, but it's very similar to that, as you can tell. Um, so the bag, I finally got my hands on it. I was up at like four in the morning trying to buy it, but I got it, and I was really excited. Um, but yeah, so here's this baby. If you look at it, it has um, a red interior. Similar, um, no stripes though, and no verbiage that says Louis. But it does say Daisy Rose. Um, it's kind of hard to see it, but I'll probably insert a photo because um, it's kind of hard and awkward to show. Um, it has a zipper pocket and two pockets, which are right nice right here, which is beautiful. And then the quick clasp to lock, as well as the hook on the side over here. Um, that you can hook, I guess, the pochette to, too, which is nice. Um, here are these straps, as you can tell. Um, they are not the softest, I'm going to be honest. Um, I, I mean, it's not real leather, that's part of it. Um, actually, these are actually the problem for me, uh, to be honest. They are peeling um, the sides, or the glazing, since this is not real leather. Um, I've started to peel Oh, I'll send you a, I'll again insert a photo since it's kind of hard to see. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a bummer because I actually really like the size of this bag and the look of it, but the handles have been kind of a problem for me. Um, yeah, the f first bag I got actually was sticky. This is the second one, and now it's peeling after using this two times, and I'm pretty careful with my bags, so it's kind of frustrating for that to happen, but can't win them all. Um, so anyways, yes. so. I mean, besides that factor, the bag is great. It fits a normal, never full uh, purse organizer, so a size large, I think, for most of them, um, which I do have. Um, but I don't know about keeping this baby just because the straps are bothering me, um, to be honest. But I do like how open it is. It's a great work bag, travel bag. Um, it does have the sides where you can cinch um, if you want the bag to be smaller. Wow, that didn't work very well. There you go. Um, and open, Oops. for the most part. Um, it did come with the pochette, which is really nice. It's a little bit small, just because I think the real one does go all the way across. Um, but again, it's inspired, so it's okay that it doesn't. Um, but yes, easy zipper, really nice. Um, nice red interior. Has a little wristlet option, which is how I was using it today at lunch, so that's perfect. Um, and then also really easy to unhook. Oh, of course, I'm struggling now. Um, and then hook it on the inside. Um, for easy travel. So yes, yeah, so I actually bought this in the cream version as well. Um, when I bought it though and opened it, I had to return it immediately because it is quite yellow in some lightings. Um, I think this, the way that it looked with the squares, it had the yellow or yellow lines were kind of within the cream part and it was just, yeah, certain lighting was just very yellow. Um, I will also insert photos at the end for that one as well. Um, I didn't want to keep that bag if I knew it wasn't going to be a good fit. Um, so thank God again for Amazon Prime and free returns. Um, and yes, and I actually, the black was not available when I did buy them, so I don't have an option for that. Um, but yeah, this bag is, like I said, pretty good for the price. It was about $50, a little under $50, $48, I think. Um, but prices can change. Um, if you are interested in this, I recommend following their Instagram because they post on their stories when they restock. Uh, because again, they do sell out quite quickly, um, even though it's inspired, but again, some people just like the look and they don't want the name and that's okay. Um, I actually kind of love that. And I'm just trying to come to peace with these straps. 
Um, but other than that, I think it's a great bag. It's easy for work and I don't mind it getting wet or anything like that because I know it, you know, it's not leather, so it's safe. That's about it. Um, oh yeah, I do want to mention these chaps. They are very similar to Louis because it has the five stitching, which is cool too. Um, everything's very similar to Louis, aside from the fact that it says, doesn't say Louis. Um, but yeah, I want to say Daisy Rose, I give them credit for trying. Um, yeah, just this might not be for me though. I think I prefer the real leather, so I gotta save up for that. Uh, we're we'll finding another rip for that one too. But that's it. Um, thanks for listening, guys. Hope that helped. Um, and again, uh, happy shopping. <laughs>